Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard K284 as we continue our career in cold waters. As you can see, we have a new contact bearing 132 degrees, designated Sierra 1. Our depth is currently 183 meters and our speed's 20 knots, which is less than ideal. There is a very strong surface duct and a strong thermal layer at 56 meters, so at least we have that to work with. We just departed Murmansk after rearming our boat. As you can see, we have a belly full of torpedoes. I'm not exactly sure what this contact is, so we're taking a well-balanced loadout. One Stallion, two Test 71 wire-guided torpedoes, and one MG-74 noisemaker. Of course, we have the 6576 torpedoes, just in case we have any warships to really contend with, but uh, time will tell. If you remember, our orders are to actually intercept an American strike group that is has sortied from Houston. Uh, it will be in the English Channel, so hopefully we'll be able to make it there. There's quite a few NATO units operating in the area that we may have to fight our way through. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's close to 25 kilometers and see what these guys are. We're going to have to immediately rig for ultra quiet because we're hauling ass at 20 knots. There we go. Bearing 131 degrees, contact has faded. Once we're down, okay, we're at 14 knots. Deploy this hood array. What's our depth? We are pretty deep, well below the layer. We'll hang out here for the time being and do some listening. See what we can pick up. There we go. Already got a new contact, CR1138. This is probably our friend. Let's flip through his subs first. Although I have to admit, what what do the whales look like? This kind of looks like a whale. Am I just am I going crazy? Am I misremembering the whale sonar signature? Very possible. Okay, not a whale. All right, let's click through all these. What are? Oh, here we go. Dreadnought. It's very close, but not accurate. Trafalgar. 5,000 tons. Spearfish torpedoes and tigerfish torpedoes. Let's see. She can already hear us on active. But passive is... We're still, uh, we're still hidden. She's above the layer and going active. God damn it. <laughs> That's unfortunate that it would do that. And there's a boatload of ice up ahead, so my stallion, unfortunately, is going to be useless. Although I may counter fire with it just for fun. So I do like them. And they have occasionally punched through the ice. I'm assuming maybe some of this ice is uh, pretty thin and I'll be able to go through without damaging the torpedo. I'm not sure if they're able to do that in real life, but... Uh, I assume if the ice is very thick, obviously not, but uh, thin ice... Maybe. I'm sure someone will be able to let me know. Oh, damn. This thing's closer than expected. Our solution's at 26%. Shh, we're in our baffles, though. Okay. Well, that is all I need to fire our Test 71 at her. We're going to fire it downrange towards the contact. Tube 1? Or Tube 2, excuse me. Fire. Okay. We'll let that run. The sensors on these test 71s are absolutely abysmal. Okay, got a counter launch. All right. We need to come up. Okay, rise, boat rise. 91 meters, please. I'm debating going active, but I think she's just counter firing in the direction of my torpedo, so I'd really rather not give away our position, yes, yeah, she still can't hear us. So we're actually going to level out here. And we're going to head south to try to evade this torpedo. Uh, drop down to 198 meters and increase speed to 10 knots, please. Yeah, she still can't hear us. Perfect. But she's getting close. I just don't want her to fire off more torpedoes than she already has. Okay. So this is the situation. Okay, we have a good, good solution. Solution is 
I'll let that climb up a little higher. Okay, you know what? Stallion time. I'm ready. Her speed? 32 knots? Hauling ass. Okay, let's come up. 91 meters, please. Wow, they're fast. Yeah, she's booking it. Okay, retracted our tow array. And she's turning, clearing her baffles once again. Oh, there's ice ahead. Thank you. Oh, our stallion may not be a may not be a good option then. Let's redirect our wire guided torpedo. Hmm. Okay, let's turn. Maybe we can make this work. I'd love to make it work. I don't think it's going to, to be honest. This torpedo, ob I don't think it's wire guided. Guess we can find out. Spearfish torpedo. Spearfish, heavy torpedo used by submarines of the Royal Navy. It can be guided by wire or by active or passive sonar. It replaced the unreliable target fish torpedo, which was withdrawn in 2004. The significantly higher speed spearfish. For which development started in the 1970s before the breakup of the Soviet Union. and was intended to catch high speed deep diving Soviet threats such as the Alpha class submarine. Okay. So quite an intimidating torpedo actually. What's its warhead? 340. Oh no, wrong torpedo. 300. Okay, make turns for 20 knots. Time to stop fiddle farting around here. CR2. Aw, oh, shoot. Torpedo's active. Aw, oh, crap. All ahead flank, 33 knots. Let's go down, 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 down. Okay, back to 20. Stop cavitating. Cut that out. From the looks of it, they aren't using its wire guiding capabilities. Torpedo has acquired us. Okay, I don't care if I cavitate at this point. Let's get down. We should stop here shortly. Passing 170 meters now. No longer cavitating. Perfect. God damn, that torpedo is fast. Okay, drop a decoy. And you know what? I don't want to launch a moss and jam our tube. Holy crap. Okay, get down. Fast. Hard to port. Man, that thing is fast. Okay. It has locked onto the noise maker, which is perfect. And it's turning our way. 360, okay, level out here. 390, holy crap, we're deep. Mm, hard to port, I'll turn it. I don't see it. Okay, it's, it's above us. Okay, hard to starboard. Yeah, I can see it right there. Oh god. <laughs> oh boy, it's going back for the decoy. Perfect. Okay, let's run like hell. We have reached 33 knots. And uh, we need to. F Our torpedo has gone off and missed. Like I said, the sensors are absolutely awful on this thing. Let's go active. Wait, what's our solution on this thing? 89%. We know where it is. Uh oh. Decoy. Up, up, up. Oh boy, please go. Oh god. Coming right for us. Oh, it just. That knuckle saved us. Okay, the Trafalgar just launched another eel at us. Okay, let's try to juke and weave under it. 
Stay out of its sensors. Rudder amidships. Okay, what the hell is this torpedo off doing? Where is it going to? Sierra 2? Okay, that noisemaker's doing work. Thank you, noisemaker. I owe you. Another launch. Maybe they misclicked. <laughs> like I tend to do. Oh, gosh. It's probably another one of these things. These things are awful. Let me tell you. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. How much how much juice does this thing have? Okay, our torpedo. I wish it would do work on its own. Although it does look like that torpedo is heading back towards CR1. But I have bigger fish to fry. Up, up, up. Blow ballasts. Come up, come up, come up. Torpedo's running right astern of us. Okay, we're gonna pop all the way up above the lair and hopefully lose this fucking thing. It's going... Okay, we're fine. Rudder midships. Okay, the enemy torpedo has reacquired us. Now we're dealing with two. How much fuel do these things have? Has it acquired me? Oh yeah, it sure has. I can't even focus on guiding our torpedo land. Oh, we just need to get out of here. Okay, we're done with one. Now we have to deal with the other. Find that sub. Or to starboard. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, it's close. Okay, noisemaker. Oh shit, we're done. Okay. Low ballast. God, they launched another. Damage control. We got flooding. Get it out. Okay, this torpedo needs to sink this fucking thing. Let's go. I'm guiding it in. What's our depth? 400 meters and rising. Perfect. It's launching more. Okay, come up. Bring us up, 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 up. 91 meters, please. This torpedo is almost out of juice. It has four minutes left. Turn our boat. Get the hell out of here. Okay, this, see it. Look, look at this torpedo. It's right here and it still has not acquired the target. Okay. We're cavitating. I don't care. I don't, I really don't. This is. <laughs> this has not gone well for K284. This is a nightmare. Come on, get in there. Okay, slow down. Where's this torpedo? It's running nice and deep. Okay, we're going to drop. Here we go. Okay. Once we're down, 25 knots. First off, CN hell. Hey, we lost the wire. Moss away. 102 meters. That is our Moss, or MG-74, excuse me. Okay. Are we we're too close to launch our Stallion? Darn it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get those, get those screws turning, boys. Our torpedo actually has acquired something. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> that's a beautiful thing. I've never seen anything nicer in my life. All right. <laughs> I think we're, I think we're, oh, please. 
Okay, slow down. I I am begging you, little tiger fish. You know what I want from you. Let's go. Another torpedo in the water. Oh my gosh. Ooh, our torpedo hit. This one's in the water though. All head flank. Noise maker. Oh gosh. Come on, start moving. We're only going 16 knots. Taking quite a while to accelerate here. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. down. Oh gosh. This is it. Darn. We killed each other. Well, before we crush to death, time to abandon ship. Critical damage and uncontrolled flooding. The ship is lost. Oh no, this may be the end here, folks. We'll see. Every series in cold water so far, I have lost a boat. And every time I've gotten, a, I've been given a second chance. Uh, we'll see if I have pleased the tonnage gods of the series. Trafalgar sunk, total tonnage 5,300. Sunk by UK Spearfish Torpedo. Wow, those were the, oh yeah, that's the better ones. Oh boy, oh boy. USSR recognized the loss of submarines. A representative of the USSR confirmed NATO's claims that a Soviet submarine was lost in action. Although details were unclear, sources close to the Pentagon say the loss of life was minimal. Most of the crew were safely rescued and have already gone ashore thanks to determined rescue efforts. Wow. Oh my gosh, and now we get to select a new vessel. Okay. And there's there is a lot of boats to go through. And I kind of want to stick with the Akula. If we even get the option to sail out in it again. Oh, we don't. Hmm. This is tricky. Okay, so I think I've decided on a boat. The Oscar 1 class submarine. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good boat. I have used it quite a little bit uh, on live stream and such, and it seems to be rather popular. So, and also, it's sixteen thousand five hundred tons. So, this is the definition of a very large submarine, and it'll be perfect for taking out those carrier strike groups that we're supposed to go up against. So, I'm going to accept the Oscar. New command assignment: effective immediately. You are hereby. Com Assigned command of Oscar One Class Submarine K206. Congratulations and good luck in your new command. Okay, and now I need to rearm and all of that good stuff. I will probably end the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed it, even though K284 met a uh, unfortunate end. Uh, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all in the next one.